call me Big Deborah because I'm a true baker. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> my channel it is saturday may 9th if you're new here welcome to planet samantha where i do vlogs tutorials reviews and how to's and now cooking videos as you can see i'm standing in my kitchen and if those are your kind of videos then i hope that you will subscribe to my channel like this video and share it with your friends tell your friends about planet samantha so today's video obviously you can see i am in my kitchen and i'm wearing an apron it's actually really cute so today's video is gonna be much different than my others. My very, very first cooking slash baking vlog, and I am so excited to start incorporating those kind of videos into my channel. If you know me personally, you know that I make a lot of random and fun and yummy things. And now that I know that a lot of you are excited to watch my cooking videos, that makes it even more fun. What I'm going to be baking today is I'm actually gonna be doing three different recipes. All three are super duper easy. Doesn't take long to prep, doesn't take long to bake. All three recipes have one ingredient in common and that is crescent rolls. Who doesn't love crescent rolls? Most people just bake them as they are and eat them with dinner or whatever. But I like to be a little more creative and I like to put things inside it and fold it up. If you are like a health nut or you don't eat a lot of carbs or breaded type of items, this video is probably not for you. Especially seeing as crescent rolls have about 19 grams, I think, of carbs. Yeah, 19 grams of carbs and 320 milligrams of salt. No wonder they taste so good. First recipe that I'm making, my mom used to make it. What you're gonna need is one tube of the Pillsbury. Pillsbury is the best, doesn't matter. You can get whatever brand, but this is the one I always pick. But you're gonna get the Crescent Roll Grands. These are the big and flaky. The bigger the better, am I right? <laughs> you're gonna need cheese. I don't buy pre-shredded, and anyways, you do not wanna use shredded cheese for this recipe. It's a lot better if you just cut it into slices and then put the slices in there. And I don't like buying pre-shredded because it's not good for you. It's got like chemicals in it and it's disgusting. So I shred my own. I'm gonna be using Cabot Extra Sharp Cheddar. This recipe tastes better with Extra Sharp. If you don't like Extra Sharp, then just use whatever cheese that you want, that you like, that melts good. <laughs> Which all cheese melts good. But anyways, just whatever cheese you want. Green onions, we bought already chopped so makes my life a lot easier <laughs> dill weed i have been putting a little bit of onion powder in it so i'm gonna make the first one now and obviously i'm gonna show you guys and then when that's done i will show you the ingredients for the second one make and it and i'll show you the ingredients for the third one and then i'll make you it know what's really funny is i usually have danny open these because i hate opening these i hate not knowing when it's gonna pop, it's like a jack-in-the-box. So the first step is to cut the cheese, and you want a decent amount. So I'm gonna cut that real quick, and then I'll show you um, about how much I usually use, which of course you can use more, you can use less, you can do whatever your little heart desires.
you need is one tube of Preston rolls. I'm using the original, so it's not the big, huge one. You need cream cheese. You don't use a whole one of these, but you do want to get this one so it's easier to cut rather than the cream cheese in a tub because you're going to be cutting strips of it. And then you need strips. I think my strips might be too big. Let me cut that in. Crisps, press and rolls, whatever you want to call them, are in the oven. They have a few minutes left. So I'm going to start making my last and final recipe. And I've never made this one either. I didn't look it up on a Pinterest. I didn't look it up anywhere. I just thought of it and was like, wow, that sounds really good. Who doesn't love press and rolls? Who doesn't love buffalo chicken wing dip? Why not mix it all together as if you were making the dip, but instead put it inside a crescent roll? Oh my God. So that's what I'm gonna do. The ingredients that I thought of that would be perfect for this 
is a bowl, <laughs> a spoon. Those aren't ingredients, but those are utensils, kids. A can of chicken, canned chicken. You could do the long way and the tedious way by going to the grocery store and getting like a rotisserie chicken and then taking all the chicken off yourself, but that takes time. And the purpose of today's video is just quick and easy recipes that don't take very much time and that don't take very much work and doesn't take very many ingredients. Big and flaky crescent rolls. You want the big one for this because you're gonna be stuffing it with all the goodness. I decided that I'm gonna use mozzarella. I feel like it would taste really good and I'm gonna be shredding it myself. I'm using the leftover cream cheese from the last recipe because I'm gonna mix it in the bowl, get it all nice and yummy. And then, of course, Frank's Red Hot. I actually did not get the buffalo one, which I know is what you're supposed to use for the buffalo chicken wing dip, but the cream cheese just a little bit um, just so it's easier to mix I don't have measurements of anything I'm just winging it a little bit of butter he said to put it on the pan on the stove and melt it down and mix it with the hot sauce but I'm gonna do it this way I'm gonna melt down some butter
I'm exhausted. The buffalo chicken crescent roll is in the oven. 11 minutes left. I am so tired, but my makeup looks good. Time to get the last one out. Oh it's done. I should have put more cheese on top because I got like that crispy, crunchy cheese on top. I love it. Look at that, baby. So I just put a little bit of the cheese on top because I don't want to waste it. But the next time I make this, I'm definitely putting the cheese on top before I put it in the oven. Because like I said, it got really crispy, crunchy. You can see it on there. And I love crispy cheese. So I'm going to put this down. I'll show you guys everything all together. And then this will be a wrap. Just call me Big Debra because I'm a true baker. <laughs> Get it? Just call me Big Papa because I'm a true yeah, player. Yeah. yeah. So just call me Big Debra because I'm a true baker. <laughs> wow, I'm clever. No need to thank me. Well, I actually had to put it back in for another 10 minutes because it was still doughy. And it's not very nice of a presentation because I had to cut it in fours. Whatever. I managed to slice the skin off my knuckle and burn my arm on the stove. And this is shit that I don't ever do. I'm thinking that the only reason it happened is because I'm making a video. Here is everything that I made. I'm just gonna show you real quick. So that is the cheese and dill with the green onions and the crescent roll, yum. The next thing I made turned out super yummy looking with the cream cheese stuffed crescent rolls with the strawberries and the blueberries. I did not have powdered sugar, so I just sprinkled some sugar on top, which I think will make it taste really good. And lastly, the buffalo chicken stuffed croissant. Why do I keep saying croissant? Buffalo chicken stuffed crescent roll. Doesn't look pretty like these, because like I said, I had to cut it open to make sure it really cooked, but it looks really good. I'm excited. So again, I've made this before. This is my first time making this because I found it on Pinterest. If you want the recipe, let me know. And this one, I just thought of it and just winged it and yeah. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I had a lot of fun making this video and like I said before, I often put step-by-step -step instructions of how to make something on Snapchat and I always had a fun time doing that. So I think this is gonna be really fun for me and exciting and I love baking and cooking and like I said in the beginning of the video, I've been wanting to incorporate these videos into my channel. Hope you guys like it, hope you guys enjoy it and let me know if you make anything that I made. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, anything at all, comment down below. Like this video, please, 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 and please subscribe to my channel. I won't let you down. That's it. I love you guys. I'll see you next week.